when it comes to wearing like just one color, is that like, is it still a thing when someone goes out to that side and just be? Nah, cause like, I be, like the homies wear red. Like you ain't gonna really like, we don't flag bang in LA like that. So now you mentioned, of course, uh, in the last interview, of course, the hat. I seen a, a white guy um, on a blog talking about L.A. gang culture. He's like, the hat is worse than being flamed up or clued up, whatever, all blue, all red. Yeah. Is that true? Like where you can still walk all red? He said clued up. I was like, yeah, 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 when it comes to wearing like just one color, is that like, is it still a thing when someone goes out to that side and just be? Nah, cause like, I be, like the homies wear red. Like you ain't gonna really like, we don't flag bang in LA like that. Uh. You not gonna catch it. You not gonna catch it commit suicide. Like it might be like on the hood day or on, you know what I'm saying? Like a that just burnt out still, but like ain't nobody really doing the, Dicky suit with the blue rags and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's more like, you know what I'm saying? They go to Mary's and purple jeans. Niggas dresses a little bit flighter, flyer now. You get what I'm saying? Right. So the hat really just tell you where you're from. You might have an all red S hat on. They already know it's up. You know what I'm saying? Like, a they ain't really just giving theirs up like that. Because if a is walking or using public transportation or just outside, I ain't gotta ask no questions. I mean, people ain't gonna ask too many questions if you in the right spot anyway, but you just dead on giving it up. You get what I'm saying? That shit crazy. Ain't nobody doing that one. I was watching a documentary and they were talking about how gangster MC Hammer was. Is that true? Yeah, he was he was somebody back in the day. But see, he rode with Felix Mitchell and them. I don't know if they bought that up. Felix Mitchell was like a big time heroin nigga out of out of the bay. Okay. And then uh Lil D, the dude it was a dude Lil D inside the uh inside the film. Did they talk about his cousin Lil D? I, I don't know, I didn't get that. His part. cousin Lil D just got out the feds. I think that's his cousin, but he was a, he he was with, with Felix Mitchell. They was having a gang of money and you know, it ain't really gang banging up there in the bay. So it's just have he had some money. They, I, I don't want to say he was in the dope trade, but shit. Because they said that Sh around. Suge Knight would never try him at all. Like, that yeah, wasn't no nah, he was having the people with him. Yeah. He was at, Suge Knight know who to play with and who not to his whole life. He wasn't just bullying everything, bro. So, so they don't. So it's not as crazy as it, they made it seem, like on the documentaries and shit? The money made it that. Like, I got the power to get you out the way. When the money left, the power left. You seen it. It's, it's, I mean, you can see it. Like, it ain't nothing that I got to talk on. Like, when he was rich, he had all the bloods with him. They were saying he was the blood. He was this, that, and the other. He went broke. He had to go get Uncle Terry. He ended up killing the nigga. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? Go get Uncle Terry. And that's a close person to me. Like, his granddaughter, they could be with my mom every day, Terry, mm -hmm. the one that died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, he go get Uncle Terry to handle some shit with some other. If you was a cop that Pyro, nigga, go to your hood, go get your homies, go pull up on what's going on. You, this is a dude that ain't from Compton that you pulling up on, and you gotta go get Unc to even pull up over here to try to shut down the NWA movie or what? What was it? The what was it? What, what, what movie was they doing? Straight out of Compton. Yeah, straight, straight out of Compton. Compton. That's the NWA yeah, movie, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you know I mean, that's just. That shows a lot right there. Because if you was really a nigga, you wouldn't have to go through that. Like, the money don't make you a gangster in L.A. You get what I'm saying? I mean, it can. Because, you know, niggas in the hood want their way out. So they'll go kill something for whatever you going to put on the table. Like, it's business, though. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moon. Hey.